Welcome back to the Big Weekend Show. It's time now for our big four predictions mm. for the New Hampshire primary. I will go first. This is a bold prediction, Charlie Hurt, mm. but I think this headline could be written. Trump garners bigger vote percentage than the incumbent president, Joe Biden, who mm. has a writing campaign, but I don't think there's a reporter who will be willing to write that headline. How amazing will it be if all of the drama on Tuesday is that uh, is, is it on the Democratic side of things and not on the Republican side of things, but as you point out, the media will completely bury that. Uh, but I do think, you know, it looks like, you know, Trump is, is uh, you know, looking at a good night. But the thing about a one-day election is that we have no idea no until idea. people go out there and vote. And then when they finish voting, we'll all know. Uh, but if he does uh, win, um, you know, I think it's probably pretty much over. I don't, I, I don't know what the argument for Nikki Haley is after that. Yeah, and the Secretary of State here in New Hampshire predicting high turnout. He said it could portend an increase in independence. Your prediction? Uh, I think the people of New Hampshire are going to tell their own story. Uh, they always do. They've always told a unique story. They haven't cared about what Iowa has done first, and they've set their own path. They have a great opportunity to tell an amazing story tomorrow, whether it's a comeback story uh, for Nikki Haley or a big victory story for Donald Trump. But they're going to tell that story. And then, you, as you mentioned, on the Democratic side, an interesting write-in story as well. Very unique on that element. It is. And it also might not come to a very quick conclusion. Things are old style here in New Hampshire, so they may have to really take a look at all those signatures the write-ins and, and to get to that big headline. The Boston Globe and Suffolk has a tracking poll where there's new numbers every couple of days and the numbers have just been getting better for Donald Trump with each passing day. Now you have DeSantis dropping out. I think a lot of his support probably goes to Trump. It seems like folks are closing ranks for better or for worse. So I think Trump is going to win big on Tuesday night. But if Nikki Haley can win over independence in a big way in this state and just get enough of those Republicans who want to turn the page on Trump, this is a state that theoretically could be tailor-made for her to do well. She needs that to happen, I think, to have a real story moving forward that makes sense, where you can sort of say, okay, there is a path. Yeah, and Charlie, you know, we focused a lot on Republicans. Biden's not on the ballot. He didn't put his name on the ballot. There's the write-in campaign. And it reminds me, look, 19, you go back to Lyndon B. Johnson. It was a write-in campaign. He got high 40s. And as it turns out, he ended up withdrawing from the race. So there is something to be said about momentum um, on the Democrat side if oh, sure. the incumbent president doesn't do well. Oh, sure. But, you know, th let's not forget that uh, Joe Biden uh, canceled the New Hampshire primary because he didn't like what the voters did last time. That's who you're dealing with. And I think it could be a huge political miscalculation having New Hampshire go later. And there's expectations, which is, is there a big headline? Does somebody exceed expectations? And there are often surprises in New Hampshire. There are. New Hampshire loves to surprise. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.